Yo, what's going on? Kyle Hunt, Hunt Fitness. Got an arm training session with Kevin Lezak from Kevin Lezak Fitness. Originally, this was going to go on his channel, but I just want to I just want to get it on YouTube real quick today because it's been like over a month and a half, probably pushing two months since we did this arm training session, and it j it's about damn time it gets on YouTube. I know a lot of you guys are probably expecting that cardio video that I promised last week in the, the car push video, and it's coming. I've just been extremely, extremely busy with the business and uh, finishing up college, actually. I'll be graduating in about three weeks. Holy cow, three, yeah, three weeks I will be graduating. So, as you can imagine, running a business, going to school, it's always busy, but it's really crunch time right now just trying to graduate, so uh, videos will be sparse, sparse. However you say that word, there, there's not going to be a lot of videos in the next couple of weeks. So, this is hopefully something to, to kind of tide you guys over. Hopefully, now I say this hopefully, but I don't want to make any promises. That cardio video, I have some notes for it and everything. I just got to sit down and do it, but uh, time is kind of of the essence. So, hopefully I can do that this week, but not, if not, maybe maybe next week. But it'll be coming. This is just a, uh, a rundown of what we did. We started out with dumbbell hammer curls. Did uh, three, four sets, five sets, I don't even remember really, but uh, then we finished it out with a pretty killer drop set, uh, really just to to get a little bit higher reps in, so that's really the only reason. Uh, one thing I like to do with drop sets is you can start out with, say your rep range that you're going for for that particular movement is uh, 10 to 12, just random numbers, and uh, you want to go a little bit heavier, so you can go heavier, hit like four or six reps, then use a drop set so lighten the weight to get more reps it's just it's an intensity principle it's not something you want to use all the time but remember uh, intensity and volume is an inverse relationship so with higher intensity you don't need as much volume and vice versa and then we did some thick bar barbell curls and then the third exercise for biceps was a uh, the blood flow restriction curls which you can look in and check out the blood flow restriction video I did and explained it all. We're just going to show you a, a quick clip in, in this video. I don't even really normally train arms together. This was an arm workout because uh, Kevin wanted to do arms. He was a couple weeks out, I believe. Uh, so uh, I was like, screw it, let's do some arms. And then uh, for triceps, we just did skull crushers and then a few cable exercises, which you'll be able to see later in the video. But I want to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about motivation. I've been thinking lately. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with me finishing up college here in a couple weeks and really motivation in life, motivation in training, why we do what we do. I mean, most people get into the gym for one of two reasons. One, you're either that small 98 pound weakling kid who was picked on because he was a tiny little kid. That was kind of me. That was Actually, it was me. Um, I've always been a, a short, stocky, built, naturally strong kid, but I was always tiny. My sophomore year of high school, I was only wrestling 96 pounds. Think about that. 96 pounds as a sophomore in high school, so I was tiny. Um, and then you have the other end of the spectrum. People get into lifting and exercising or, or bodybuilding, physique enhancement, because they're the fat kid that gets picked on. So... A lot of people get into the sport or the lifestyle on almost like a negative aspect, you know. They get into it to try to, you know, avoid the, the shortcomings that they may have already and the insecurities. Um, and then, you know, not everybody transitions that into being a lifer, per se. A lifer meaning someone who sticks with it. A lot of times, you know, false motivations like... Uh, you know, you're, you're picked on because you're the fat kid. And uh, normally, there'll be some motivation to where you don't want to be picked on anymore. But also, some people do it with the motivation of uh, not really to, to change themselves per se, but to change how others perceive them. And uh, it might not make any sense, but think about it this way. Uh, say, put yourself in that, in, in that person's shoes. You're, you're a fat kid and you're picked on in school. You can you can make a change for one of two reasons. A, the best reason is for yourself because you don't want to be fat anymore. You don't want to look at yourself in the mirror and not have the body that 
you could have, you know you could have. Or wrongly, I mean, not necessarily wrongly, but the, the wrong way to look at it, you know, for a lifetime of success is to go into it because you don't want to be picked on by other kids and you don't want how everybody else to, how, how they perceive you to be negative anymore. You want people to see you and say, oh, he's the, you know, the jacked person. Or, or uh, you also see a lot of people get into it, you know, to get girls or or stuff, something like that, and, and those are the people that, that, you know, come in and do biceps and chest for a couple times, and, which is a whole other story, I got I was at the gym, not to get off on a tangent here, but I was, I was at the gym on the other day, and, you know, you know the people I'm talking about, the guys who come in and just do, do biceps, and, and then I just happened to see a kid who, obviously, I've only ever seen him do biceps in, like, three months, and attempt to squat, and at first I was proud of him, like, oh, shit, look at this kid, he found the squat rack, and then, there he goes with 135 on the bar, doing a half a knee bend. I don't even know what the fuck he was trying to do, but it wasn't a squat. And I looked over at him, and I was like, you know, he could just tell by the look in my face that I was, I didn't know what the hell that kid was trying to do. And uh, he's like, yeah, bro, I haven't done legs, I've only done legs twice in the last, last year. I go, what? I've done legs twice this week already. And he looked at me like, I didn't even, I don't know, man, but... Not to get off on a tangent, but that just stuff like that gets me going, man. There you go. People in their bicep training. Maybe it's just because I don't have any biceps and I'm jealous, but I doubt it. Anyway, back to, to, to motivation. Um, so that's how a lot of people get into it. But like for me now, uh, my mo main my main motivation to be in the gym is <laughs> honestly because I absolutely love it. It is seriously the my favorite part of the day. I mean, I, I look forward to it every day. That's why I train five or six days a week. Um, which you know, a lot of people are like, oh, dude, you don't need to train that much. Yeah, I, I probably could get away with three or four. I mean, probably four days a week is all you really need to do. Um, but if you know how to program your training and you know how to set it up to where not every day is a brutal killer of a workout, your workout should almost take like a sine curve, if you know what I mean. So, you should have days that aren't too strenuous, days, and I mean, not a lot of days it should be like that, but you, you should have some recovery days built in, or days that you don't need to, to push yourself right to the max. So. Most of your training should be in that middle ground, and then you should have also some days where you just absolutely kill it, and just, you know, go for that PR and, and push yourself to the max. And, uh, but really, the reason I'm in the gym that much is, is because I love it. And I, I think a lot of you guys can relate to that. I, I would probably work out even if I didn't even get any results. And that's saying a lot because I'm a results-driven person. I do Most of the stuff I do is just to get results. But uh, I just wanted to, honestly, I just want to take the opportunity to just talk to you guys a little bit. I mean, the video is almost over. Uh, I was going to put some music to it, but I was like, you know what? I'll just talk to these guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the talk. Peace.